In this tutorial, I'll show you some features implemented in Limplug Xarin 5, which are real time savers for mapping drum kits from scratch. In front of me I have RM5 loaded with a default drum kit. You can choose your own default drum kit in the setup page. Just click the browse button and select a new default kit. Ok, so to map the new samples, first unload this kit. Click this red button and confirm the message. All pads are now empty and all pad parameters are set to default. The drum kit that I will map is called Big Mona. It's a free acoustic kit with many velocity layers that you can download from analogdrums.com. To start mapping your kit, first select a pad that you want to load some samples to. Click the browse button. The sample browser will open and you'll see the content of the folders which are set in the setup page right here. Since the folder with the big mono kit samples is not listed here, you'll have to browse for it. Just click the browse button and find it on your hard drive. Here it is, analog drums, the samples are in the WAV folder. Now you can browse the content of this folder. As you can see there is a lot of samples. Each instrument is sampled with multiple velocity layers. The first one is the kick drum with 12 samples. Use shift click to select all samples. Click load and you'll have all your samples loaded. The default value for velocity response is from 1 to 127. So when you press the key on your keyboard, you'll hear all samples at once. And this is something you don't want. Here we come to one of the great things about RM5. The automatic velocity range settings. You have six presets in two variations. Three upwards and three downwards. Each variation has one linear and two logarithmic curves. I'll select the first upwards logarithmic curve. The first sample will have the lowest values for the velocity range and the last sample will have the highest. Now you can hear the velocity switching on the kick drum. Now close this browser. Select the next pad, click on the browse button and the browser will open again with only the content of the preset folders visible. Instead of browsing again to the folder with your samples, just click the quick look button and you'll be back to the last visited location. The next instrument is a tom played with the left hand. There are 16 samples. Shift click to select all, load them all at once, select the velocity range preset and here you go. You don't have to close the browser to select the next pad. You can just click and drag this display until you reach the next pad. But you'll still need to click the quick look button to go back to the folder with your samples. Next is a tom played with the right hand. 16 samples again. Shift click to select all, load, upwards logarithmic. I'm not going to load all of the samples. Three pads should be enough for this tutorial. You can now give names to the pads which are loaded with samples. Just click the empty field and type. You can use this display as a reference to know which samples are loaded. Here I have Tom1, left hand. Then Tom1, right hand. Since this is physically the same instrument, it's best to set the same values for pan, volume or any other parameter. The easiest way to do this is to group those pads. Just click and drag the G button. You have as much as 8 groups. I'll select the first group for both pads. 
Now use the right mouse button to set the same values for all pads that are in the same group. You can set any parameter that you like. To change a note that triggers the pad, just click and drag the note value. If you feel that the values change too fast, use the shift button to get more resolution. All the samples are mapped now. To finish your drum kit, just repeat the process for the rest of the samples. When you're done, don't forget to save your drum kit. Click this button to open the kit browser. Here you can give your kit a name and add some tags for easier search. In the credits field, I'll type the website where you can find the Big Mono Drum Kit. You also have three user fields where you can type anything you want. You can add a rating, and when you're done just click the save button. I won't save it now because I already mapped the kit, so I will load it instead. Ok, here it is. I'll close the browser. As you can see, I set the thumbs to the second group, and the hi-hats to the first group. I didn't do much more apart from the basic mapping, but if you want you can of course play with defects, filters, envelopes and so on. So, remember to use shift-click to select multiple samples at a time, the quick look button to go back to the folder with your samples, velocity range presets for one-click settings, and groups for editing multiple pads at a time. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial will help you create new drum kits in no time.